you stand with me right now? Come on, church. And lift those holy hands. Hallelujah. May every home be filled and overflow with the spirit of praise, Lord. That even as we praise you today, Lord, change the spiritual atmosphere in every home and in every place right now, Lord. Father, we praise you. We give you praise. We give you honor. May our hearts, Lord, overflow with thanksgiving right now, Father God. Thank you for this day, Father God. Thank you, oh God, that we have all the reason, Lord, to thank you today, Father God, because you are faithful, you are good, and you are good all the time. Thank you, Father. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this day. Yes, Lord. Come on. Lift those holy hands. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Lord, fill us with your joy right now. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, make our hearts ready today. As we listen to your word today, may your word become alive, Lord. Bless our spirits today, Lord. Revive us, renew us, refresh us today, Lord. By the power of your word, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for this day. Bless every home. Bless every family, Lord. Bless your servant and bless your word today. This we ask in Jesus Christ's name we pray. And all God's people say, Everybody say, Amen! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Praise God. It's a beautiful day. Amen? It is a blessed Sunday. And everybody said amen to that. Hallelujah. Before you sit down, high five mo yung daddy mo, yung mommy mo, yung mga anak mo. Sabihin mo lang sa kanila. High five. Sabihin mo sa kanya. Tumaba ka ngayon. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. We can all be seated in His presence today. Hallelujah. And as we are sitting down in His presence, can everybody declare with me right now, I choose joy. Come on. Everybody say, I choose joy. Hallelujah. We choose joy today. And everybody said amen to that. Hallelujah. Praise God. Are you ready for the word today, church? Are you ready for the word? Praise God. Welcome to our church online. Pastor Jerry, Pastor Ruth, thank you for joining me today. Hallelujah. We want to greet all our uh, His Life churches in different locations. We want to bless you with the Lord. Everybody said amen to that. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Are you ready for the word? Are you ready for the word? Praise God, praise God. I think by now, everybody, all of us have come to a realization and acceptance that all our plans this year literally went down the drain. Sino po ang nag-a-agree doon? Come on. No? Sino po yung uh, accept mo na ngayon? Na-realize mo na lahat ng plan mo this year, wala na. Hallelujah. Praise God. Can I hear an amen to that? Hallelujah. It all went down to the drain. Yung mga vacation plans natin. Hello. Hallelujah. Napakainit pa naman ng panahon. Dapat nasa dagat ka ngayon. Hallelujah. Praise God. Mga vacation plans. Financial plans. Business plans. Are you with me right now? And for some of you, marriage plans. Kasama ko si Jeris ngayon dito sa side. Dapat ikakasal ka. Hindi ko na alam kung kailan. Hallelujah. Can I hear an amen? Hallelujah. Mga, mga career plans po natin or even for some of you, yung mga travel plans natin, it all went down the drain. This is an unprecedented crisis. Everybody is literally searching for answers, searching for solutions. Today, everybody say today. I want to encourage you with a word. A word 
that has helped me understand and navigate life's interruptions. Lahat po na nakakasunod so far, magsabi ng Amen. Sa araw pong ito, gusto ko po kayong i-encourage sa isang word. A word that has literally helped me understand and navigate life's interruptions. How do we react when our plans are interrupted? Do you get disappointed? Do you get frustrated? Come on, let's be real here. Come on, hallelujah. Huh? How do we react when our plans get interrupted? We get disappointed. We get frustrated. For some, we get angry. Nagagalit tayo. Yung iba nga dyan, ninenervyos na. Some get literally anxious. Our message today is captured not in one word, but in one verse. Everybody say one verse. Kasi last Sunday, one word tayo. Tama po ba? Yung word natin last Sunday, persevere. So, our message today is captured not in one word, but in one verse. It is a verse that has become one of my life verse. When I say life verse, it is a verse that you embrace and apply in your life. Pag sinabi natin life verse, di ba? Sino po nito yung mga, mga, may mga life verse sa buhay? Come on, can I see a show of Yes, thank you, Pastor Ru, thank you, Pastor Jerry. You know, may mga, kanya-kanya ho tayong life verse. So what I'm gonna share to you today is one of my life verse. A life verse is something that you embrace in your life and you apply it in your life. A life verse is something that has shaped your mindset, that has shaped your affections, your perspective in life, and even your direction in life. This verse is our message today. And I want to share that to you today. Are you ready? Maybe for some of you, you know this verse. Proverbs 19 21. It says there, many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Powerful verse. Loaded with meaning. Loaded with principles. Ang dami nating pwedeng matutunan sa verse na to. Napakaikli ng verse, pero malaman. Literally speaks to us. Itong verse na to, it has literally helped me navigate life's interruptions. Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Gusto ko itong basahin sa Tagalog. Ang ganda rin ang salin niya sa Tagalog. Sa magandang balita, Biblia. Ang ganda po. Basahin, basahin natin. Ang sabi dyan, ang isang tao'y maraming iniisip. Maraming binabalak. Ngunit ang kalooban din ni Yahweh ang siyang mananaig. Can I hear an amen to that? Ang ganda ho ng pagkakasalin sa Tagalog. Sabi niya, uh, gawin nating personal this time. No? Uh, gusto ko po na ilagay ho natin yung pangalan natin dun sa verse. Halimbawa, ganito yan. Si Jerry, maraming iniisip. Okay. Si Daddy, maraming iniisip. No? Si Punso, Hindi pa nag-iisip yan. Hallelujah. Can I hear an amen? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, ganito yan. Ilagay niyo yung pangalan niyo doon sa verse. Sabi dyan, ang isang tao'y maraming iniisip. Maraming binabalak. Ngunit ang kalooban din ni Yahweh ang siyang mananaig. Everybody said amen to that. Sa English, babalikan ko. Many are the plans in Anthony's heart. In Pastor Anthony's heart. But at the end of the day, it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Everybody said amen to that. Immediately, gusto ko pong talagang diretsuhin na po ang talatang ito. There are three powerful principles that we could draw out of this verse. Number one, are you ready? Number one, purpose is more important than plans. Let me repeat myself. Purpose is more important than plans. 
In other words, let me put it this way. God's purpose is more important than your plans. Can I hear an amen? Now, if there is one thing that we need to settle right here, right now, is this. Dapat nyong ma-realize. Dapat na nating maintindihan ito. Plans change. Are you with me right now? God's purpose is unchangeable. Everybody said amen to that. Come on, come on, hallelujah. Plans change, but God's purpose is unchange, unchangeable. Dapat isettle na ho natin yan. Ang mga plano natin ay pwedeng magbago. Can I hear an amen? Kaya nga yung ilan sa inyo, may plan B, may plan C. Pero dahil sa napakatinding crisis na pinagdadaanan natin ngayon, pati yung plan D mo, hindi na rin natupad. Can I hear an amen? No, medyo ibang klase ho yung pinagdadaanan natin ngayon. See, this verse tells us na yung mga plano natin pwedeng magbago. Pero ang purpose ni Lord, listen very carefully, hindi magbabago, hindi pabago-bago, at hindi nagbabago. Can I hear an amen to that? That is why you and I can fully trust Him. Because He is a God who never changed. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. That's why you trust Him. And everybody said amen to that. Hallelujah. Sino po rito yung may mga magagandang plano sa buhay? Taas ang kamay. Come on. May mga, yes, yes. I, I praise God. May, pla, may, may, maganda kang, may magandang plano ko sa mga anak mo. Hallelujah. May magandang plano ka sa trabaho mo. Can I hear an amen? Hallelujah. May magandang plano ka sa career mo, sa business, sa trabaho. May Lahat po tayo, may, mag, may mga magagandang plano sa buhay. Pero isn't it true? Listen. Isn't it true that the source of our frustration and disappointment in life, ito po, ito po talagang, kaya napakaganda po kasi ng verse na to eh. No? Isn't it true that the source of our frustration, disappointment in life is when our plans are interrupted. Lalo na pati yung plan B, hindi umubra. Pag hindi umubra, we get nervous. We get anxious. Come on, let's be real here. Come on. And for some, literally, nagpapanik pa sila. Paano na yan? Paano na yung mga plano ko? Paano na kami? Paano na yung finances ko? Paano na yung pag-aasawa ko? Sabi ni Jerich. Hallelujah. Yung bass guitarist po natin, may plano siyang mag-asawa this year. Hallelujah. Pati raw po si Jolan, sabi ni Pastor Ru. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Are you with me right now? Pakinggan niyo po ako. That is why we have to go back to His purpose. Because His purpose doesn't change. Many are the plans, come on, lagay niyo yung pangalan mo, in, come on, put your name, in a Anthony's heart. But it is the Lord's purpose that ultimately prevails. Makinig po kayo. Many of us, admit it or not, spend our lives making great plans, big plans. Yung iba nga sa inyo, alalaki ng plano. But only a few of us focus on what is really important. One of the marks of maturity is the ability to discern the urgent from the important. When you are young, it seems that everything is urgent. 
Yung mga young people dito, yung mga young at heart dito, you know, uh, when you are young, it seems that everything is urgent. We rush from one goal to another, seldom enjoying life along the way. Sooner or later, we learned we shouldn't trust ourselves and even the people around us sometimes. We need a higher authority. We need to turn God for direction. Then we search the scriptures, we search the Bible and find that some of the things that seem important, actually they are not. Eh. Pag tinignan mo yung Bible, yung iniisip natin, nakala natin importante, hindi pala. Pero, prestige, power, possessions, is actually the pursuit of our culture today. Yan ang, yan ang hinahanap ng kultura natin ngayon. All of this, are they really important? When you look at your Bible, you realize na hindi pala ganun ka, ka-importante yung mga bagay na to. When we pursue popularity, power, and possessions, and material things, God shakes His head. And size, that is not the main thing. Kamisa napapailing si Lord. Anak, hindi yan ang importante. Keep the main thing, the main thing. First things first. What is the main thing? Know Him and know His purpose. I think you missed the place where you need to say amen. Hallelujah. It's simple. It's about knowing Him. And knowing His purpose. That is the most important thing in life. And everything follows after that. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. And all these less important things will follow. Know Him. Have a heart to know Him. I hope and pray that in this season where we are literally in our homes, I, I pray that you take advantage of this season to know Him and know His purpose. Everybody said amen to that. I like what Francis Schaeffer uh, said in these words. Ang sabi ni Francis Schaeffer, a great pastor and a writer, he said these words, a man made in the image of God has, what's the word? Has a purpose to be in relationship to God. Who is there? Everybody say, who is there? Hallelujah. A God who is alive and so real. A man made in the image of God has a purpose to be in relationship to God. Who is there? Man forgets his purpose, and this he forgets who he is and what life means. Can I hear an amen? Man forgets his purpose, and thus he forgets who he is and what life means. This writer is right. That's why ang pinaka-importante sa atin ay yung sa mga panahong ito, ayusin natin ang ating relasyon sa Kanya. Hanapin natin ang kalooban ng Diyos. Doon lang makakaroon ng timbang, kahulugan ang ating mga buhay. And everybody said, Amen. Read again, Proverbs 19.21. Sabi dyan, many are the plans Come on, say your name. In, come on, in Anthony's heart. But it is the Lord's purpose that will prevail. Tignan natin yung Tagalog. Basahin natin uli. Sabi dyan, ang isang tao'y maraming iniisip. Maraming binabalak. Come on, look at your neighbor right now. Sabi mo, marami ka bang iniisip? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nalilito ka na ba? Hallelujah. Marami, ano ba yung mga balak mo? No? Eto ho yan. No? Sa dami-dami ng iniisip at binabalak mo, eto yan. Are you listening right now? Ang kalooban din ni Yahweh ang siyang mananaig at the end. That's why you need to embrace that. 
Everybody said, Amen. Hallelujah. Principle number one. Purpose is more important than plans. Number two. Purpose is bigger than plans. To put it the other way around. God's purpose is bigger than your plans. Mag amen ka dyan. Hallelujah. God's purpose is bigger than your plans. And, and maybe I could say, God's purpose is better than your plans. Now listen. The moment we live our lives like we are smarter than God, believe it or not, that is where your trouble starts. No? The moment, yung ilan sa atin, hindi ko minsan, hindi ko natin ina-admit ito, pero the way we live our lives, we think that we are smarter than God eh. Tama po ba? Kaya, nakakawindang-windang ang buhay eh. Kaya nakakagulo-gulo ang buhay kapag iniisip mo, yung buhay mo, para bagang mas magaling ka sa Diyos. Para bagang mas matalino ka sa Diyos. That's where we get into trouble eh. You don't go to God and say, Lord, here are my plans. Approve it, please. O, diba? May, meron ka pang ganun eh. No? Lord, here are my plans. Approve it, please. May please ka pa eh. No? Alam mo, sasabihin ni Lord sa'yo. Ito sasabihin ni Lord sa'yo. Ha? Ito yan. What? Are you kidding me? Ano sabi sa Isaiah 46 verse 10? Ano sabi dyan? Ito sabi ni Lord. I make known the end from the beginning. Parang sinasabi ni Lord sa atin, alam mo ba yung beginning at saka yung end? Ako lang nakakalam dyan. Tapos lalapit-lapit ka sa akin, Lord. Ito yung plano ko, approvin mo. You know, you know, you know? I made known the end from the beginning, from ancient times. What is still to come? God says, I know the future. Can I hear an amen? That's why you don't need to get worried about the future because God is already there. Can I hear an Amen. Hallelujah. Sabi niyan, what is still to come? Ito sabi ni Lord, I say, my purpose will stand and I will do all that I please. Hindi yung gusto mo, kundi yung gusto ko, sabi ni Lord, kasi yung purpose ko, mas malaki sa plano mo. Can I hear an amen? Whew. Hallelujah. My, God is saying to us, my purpose is bigger than all your selfish plans combined. Hallelujah. Sabi ni Pastor Jerry, solid. Hallelujah. Yeah. Whew. Amen. Alam niyo, kung magiging tapat lang tayo, mag, you know, mag, magpapakatutuo lang tayo, kung minsan yung mga plano natin, kahit kano kalaki yan, kung minsan selfish pa rin yan eh. Diba? Makasarili pa rin eh. Pero sabi ni Lord, anak, mas malaki yung purpose ko sa sa plano mo eh. I have my purpose is better than all your plans combined. Listen. When you acknowledge that God's purpose is better and bigger than your plans, ulitin ko po, no? When you acknowledge that God's purpose is better and bigger than your plans, and then you, you begin to embrace His purpose in your life, believe it or not, that is where you will start to see miracles happen in your life. Sa totoo lang po, when you acknowledge that God's purpose huh, is better and bigger than your plans and begin to say, God, I want your purpose. I embrace your purpose. You will be surprised that miracles in your life will start to happen. Sino po rito yung nananampalataya ng mga himala sa Diyos sa mga, sa mga panahong ito? Come on, I'm not expecting God for miracles. Where does it start? When you say, Lord, sige po. Lord, hindi ko na po ipipilit ang gusto ko. Yung gusto mo, yun na po ang gusto ko. Are you listening right now? Are you listening? Yung Pag nakarating ka doon sa punto na sasabihin mo sa kanya, Lord, hindi ko na po ipipilit ang gusto ko. Yung gusto mo, yun po ang gusto ko. Yung kalooban mo, yun po ang masusunod. 
Magsabi ng Amen si Jerich. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Magsabi ng Amen si Jolan. Can I hear an Amen? Pakasabi sa daddy mo, mag-Amen ka naman, daddy. You know, hallelujah. Huwag mo nang ipipilit yung gusto mo. Ulitin natin yung Proverbs 19.21. Ang isang tao ay maraming iniisip. Look at that. Maraming binabalak. Ngunit ang kalooban din ni Yahweh ang siyang mananai. Hallelujah. Kamo palapakan mo si Lord Jan. Kaya huwag mo nang patagalin. Huwag ka nang maging pasaway. Sumunod ka na. Mag-submit ka na. Kasi may gustong gawing maganda si Lord sa buhay mo. Meron siyang gustong gawing himala sa buhay mo. How many are expecting a miracle these days? Come on, hallelujah. Come on, give God praise. Hallelujah. Naalala niyo po yung preaching many, many years ago that I quoted a, 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 a statement that went like this. Miracles happen when the will of God collides with the faith of man. And everybody said amen to that. Come on, give God praise to that. Hallelujah. Miracles happen when the will of God intersects, collides with the faith of man. Yung pag in-embrace mo yung will ni Lord na may faith sa buhay mo, makakaranas ka ng himala sa buhay mo. Everybody said amen to that. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Lord, let miracles flow. Hallelujah. I speak miracles in your life today in Jesus' name. And we say, Amen. Hallelujah. When you acknowledge that God's purpose is better and bigger than your plans, and then you embrace it, guess what? Ito pa yung pwedeng mangyari. Hindi lamang himala. Ito pa yung pwedeng mangyari pag in-embrace mo yung purpose niya sa buhay mo. You will see God Turning things around for your good. Yan po ang ganda kapag in-embrace mo yung purpose niya, yung gusto niya. Makikita mo na kahit yung mga palpa, kahit yung mga masamang nangyari sa buhay po natin, pwede yung balik tarin ni Lord yan para sa ating ikabubuti. Amen! Alam ko nangyari na yun sa buhay mo, yung mga iniisip mo na para bagang hindi maganda, pero in the end, na-realize mo, Lord, salamat po. Kinahamit mo yung pati yung magganong sitwasyon para sa aking ikabubuti. Ganon kaganda kapag in-embrace mo yung purpose ni Lord. Kasi ito yung promise niya eh, di ba? Romans 8.28, ano ang sabi niya? And we know, ever say, and we know that God causes everything. Did you see that? God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to what? What's the word? His purpose for them. Hallelujah. Yan ang ganda when you are living in God's purpose na kahit may pinagdaanan kang krisis sa buhay, kahit may mga mahabing karanasan ka sa buhay, pwedeng ayusin ni Lord yan. God can turn things around for your own good and for His glory alone. And everybody said, Amen. Naalala niyo po yung kwento ni Joseph the Dreamer sa Genesis? No? Binihenta siya ng kanyang mga kapatid. You know, uh, ang dami niya mga pinagdaanang mga pagsubok sa buhay. You know, talagang hindi na nga mabilang yung mga pagsubok niya. Pero lahat pala yun ay ginamit ng Diyos. For a greater purpose. In fact, ito nga yung sinabi ni Joseph sa kanyang mga kapatid na nagbenta nga sa kanya. Sabi ni Joseph sa kanila, But as for you, sabi ni Joseph, you meant it evil against me. Nagbalak kayo ng masama sa akin. Pero sabi niya, but God meant it for good. Kahit na anong balak ng masama ng demonyo sa buhay mo, hindi mananaig ang kanyang kasamaan sa buhay mo. Can I hear an amen? Gagamitin ni Lord yan para sa iyong ikabubuti. Everybody said amen! God made it for good in order to bring about as it is this day to save many people alive. Hallelujah! Your upset 
is a setup. Can I hear an amen to that? Hallelujah. You have to believe that. Hallelujah. Yung mga upsets mo sa buhay, pwedeng set up yan. God is setting you up for more greater things in your life. And everybody said amen to that. Hallelujah. Pag sinabi natin set up, may inaayos si Lord. God is setting you up for something bigger than you have ever thought in your life. And everybody said amen. God's purpose is bigger, better than your selfish plans combined. And God is setting you up for a miracle. And everybody said, Amen. Hallelujah. I'm not being blessed today. Are you being blessed today? Hallelujah. Is God speaking to you today? Panalayan ko po sa mensahe na to na unti-unti yung mabawasan yung frustration. yung nervyos, yung panic. Dahil ang purpose ni Lord, hindi nagbabago, hindi magbabago yan. Can I hear an amen? Kamang palapakan mo muna si Lord. Hallelujah. Woo! Amen! Purpose is more important than plans. Purpose is bigger than plans. Number three, purpose is more powerful than plans. I love those words. Everybody say amen to that. Purpose is more powerful than plans. God's pur purpose is more powerful than plans. Let me explain this para mas maintindihan natin. Bakinig po kayo. Ito yan eh. People who are living out God's purpose in their lives, yung mga tao po na ipinamumuhay nila yung purpose nila uh, sa buhay, yung God's purpose in their lives, People who are living out God's purpose in their lives are more confident. Can I hear an amen to that? Diba? Pero yung mga tao na diskumpiado, alanganin na uh, doon sa am I living God's purpose? Yun ang mga tao na lagi nagdududa. Hindi mapakali. Restless. Pero yung mga tao na they know that they are living out God's purpose in their lives, they are confident in life. They are faith-filled. They are stronger. They are unshakable. Everybody said, Amen. Pag alam mo, may purpose ang buhay mo, tumatapang kang harapin ang anumang pagsubok sa buhay. Come on, balakpakan mo si Lord dyan. Hallelujah. Ulitin ko po, pag alam mo, may purpose ang buhay mo, may tapang kang harapin ang anumang krisis at pagsubok sa buhay. Pwede ba natin mas palakpakan ng matindi si Lord dyan? Come on. Amen. Sabi nga, no? Uulitin ko ito. You are immortal until your purpose is fulfilled. Did you get that? I love those words. You are immortal until your purpose is fulfilled. Anong ibig sabihin yan? You can literally face this virus, this death squarely in the eyes and say, tabi ka muna dyan. Hindi pa tapos ang pinapagawa ni Lord sa buhay ko. Hallelujah. Everybody said amen to that. Hallelujah. Hindi pa tapos si Lord sa akin. Hallelujah. I have a purpose in my life. Purpose is more powerful than plans. Ang mga plano nagbabago yan, pero yung purpose si Lord hindi magbabago yan. That's where you get your confidence. Pinaraphrase nga nung kaibigan kong Nigerian pastor, uh, ito sa amin eh, nung uh, sabi nga niya, no, Uh, he, he said these words to me one time. Ang sabi nung Nigerian pastor na to, sabi niya sa akin, uh, Pastor, you have no right to die until your purpose is done. And everybody said, Amen. Hallelujah. As sabi nung Nigerian pastor sa akin, si Pastor Sunday Popola. Yung pangalan po niya, Sunday. Hallelujah. No? Sabi niya, Pastor, you have no right to die until your purpose is done. You are immortal. Until your purpose is fulfilled. And everybody said, Amen. Come on, palapakan mo muna si Lord dyan. Hallelujah. Purpose is more important than plans. Purpose is bigger than plans. Purpose is more powerful than plans. And everybody said, Amen. 
to that. Hallelujah. Yo, iba yung enthusiasm, iba yung joy, iba yung fulfillment ng mga taong lumalakad sa kalooban ng Diyos. Iba yung saya nila. Iba yung joy nila. Iba yung fulfillment. Kasi alam mo, lumalakad ka sa kalooban ng Diyos. Yan ang joy mo. And everybody said amen to that. Para mas ma-appreciate po natin ito, let me just establish these truths. No? Uh, the meaning of purpose in uh, the Bible means has three meanings. Uh, yung unang meaning niya is uh, the will of God. So kung yun ang ibig sabihin ng purpose, pwede natin sabihin, many are the plans in Anthony's heart, but it is the will of God that prevails. And everybody said, Amen. Hallelujah. Alam nyo, ito po yan eh. You know and you know that you have reached a level of maturity in your Christian walk where you find joy in living out the will of God in your life. Yung alam mo na nakapag-breakthrough ka na doon sa level in your Christian walk wherein, you know, uh, hindi mo na pinipilit yung gusto mo. Gusto mo lang will ni Lord. Napakasarap na karanasan yan. Na yung Lord, all I want is your will. I find joy in your will, Lord. Doon ako masaya. Doon ako nabu-fulfill. Doon ako nai-excite. Kalooban mo lang, Lord. And everybody said, Amen. Many are the plans in a man's heart, but it is the will of God that prevails. Pangalawa pong meaning ng purpose, original intent. I love these words. Original intent. No? Original intention. So kung ilalagay natin yan doon sa verse, many are the plans in Anthony's heart, but it is the Lord's original intent that will prevail. Makinig po kayo. Alam niyo po ba, na kaya yung ilang mga tao, kahit successful sa buhay, kahit maraming pera, no? pero hindi po ba totoo na ilan sa kanila, kahit successful, kahit sikat, pero hindi pa rin masaya. May mga taong ganyan, di po ba? No? Successful, pero hindi sila masaya. You know why? Because yan yung sabi ng, 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 ng verse eh. Kasi eto yan eh. Unless na ang isang tao ay bumalik doon sa original na intention ni Lord sa buhay niya, hindi siya magiging masaya sa buhay. Can I hear an amen? Kaya meron kang marinig ng mga tao na dati ito yung karir na pinuporso niya. Tapos nung maranasan niya ang Diyos at ang tawag dyan, course correction. No? Yung uh, kuminsan nga, nasa middle age na siya, tapos biglang nag-shift yung karir niya. Di, na, na-realize siya na ito pala yung purpose niya sa buhay. Doon siya naging masaya. Kinahiran, amen? No? Yun yun eh, yung original intent. Ang tanong, masaya ka ba sa ginagawa mo? Are you happy? Are you fulfilled? Kung hindi ka masaya, kung ang lagi mong Hinayang, nai-stress ka lagi. Marahil, you are not living according to God's original intent in your life. This is the season where you need to discover His purpose in your life and live out that purpose. And everybody said, Amen. Come on, palakpakan mo si Lord Jan. Hallelujah. Maybe itong lockdown season na to, ito yung panahon na Lord, ano ba talaga yung purpose mo sa buhay ko? Maybe pagkatapos ng season na to, Start living out God's purpose. Yung isang bagay na nagpapasaya sa'yo. And everybody said, Amen. The will of God, original intent. And number three, I love this meaning, sabi niya. Purpose means the counsel of God. From the word counseling. Di ba pag sinabi natin counseling, you know, people are talking, you know. Uh, listen, I love this kasi... Itong, itong bagay na to napaka-personal nito eh. Let's apply it this way. Sabi dito, Many are the plans in Anthony's heart, but it is the Lord's counsel that will prevail. Ano yung ibig sabihin ng counsel of God? Makinig po kayo. 
The Bible says, before the foundation of the world, before everything else existed. Listen, before everything else existed. Wala pang mga angels, wala pa lahat yan, wala pa tayo. Before everything else existed, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are in counseling. Everybody say counseling. In other words, uh, they were talking to its other. You know? They are in counseling. They are laying out some great plans and purpose. And guess what they are talking about? Hulaan niyo po kung ano ang pinag-uusapan nila. Believe it or not, this is something very personal right now. They're talking about you. They're talking about you. They're talking about you. Before the foundation of the world, God has already established His purpose in your life. And we say, Amen to that. Hindi po ba nakagagaan ng loob na bago pa, you know, nilikha ni Lord ang lahat ng bagay. Hallelujah. Napag-usapan ka na nila. Can I hear an amen? And guess what? Kung gusto niyong tanong kung ano yung, yung purpose at plano niya sa buhay, napakaganda po ng plano niya at purpose niya sa buhay mo. And everybody said, Amen. And everybody said, Amen. Naniniwala po ako na itong season na to marahil ito yung season where we need to realign everything. Maybe this is the season of realignment. Maybe for some of us, we have been living our lives selfishly. And God is telling all of us, anak, balik ka lang sa original purpose ko sa buhay mo. Let me realign your life. Because I want to do a miracle in your life. And everybody said, Amen. How many are ready today to allow God to realign our lives? And everybody said, Amen. Come on, palapakan mo muna si Lord Jan. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Wow. Some of you may be asking today, Pastor, I want to experience the fullness of God's purpose in my life. If you want to see and experience the fullness of God's purpose in your life, makinig po kayo sa akin. Come on, listen very carefully right now. If you want to see and experience the fullness, fullness of God's purpose in your life, you look at Jesus. You look at Jesus. Doon po nag-intersect, nag-collide. Ang kapuspusan ng kagustuhan at kalooban ng Diyos sa buhay mo. When you look at Jesus, you realize God's greater purpose in your life. Colossians 1, 15 to 17. Let me read that verse again. Sabi dyan, we look at this son and see the God who cannot be seen. We look at this son. His name is Jesus. Everybody say Jesus. Hallelujah. And see, look, look at this. You look at this son and see God's original purpose in everything created. You want to know your purpose? Look at Jesus. For everything, absolutely everything above and below, visible and invisible, rank after rank, after rank of angels, everything got started in Him and finds its purpose in Him. You want to know your purpose? Look at Jesus. We say amen. He was there before any of it came into existence. 
and holds it all together right up to this moment. We jump up to the next verses. You know, these are powerful verses. You yourselves, look at this. You yourselves are a case study of what He does. Yung buhay po natin, it's a case study. Look at this. At one time, ito, sa, ito yung case study. At one time, you you all had your backs turned to God. Lahat po tayo, di ba? Ano sabi niya? Thinking rebellious thoughts of Him. Lahat po tayo rebelde before. Giving Him trouble every chance you got. Lahat po ng mga dating pasaway magsabi ng Amen. Hallelujah. Di ba? Di ba? But now, but now, by giving Himself completely at the cross, everybody say, the cross. Come on, hallelujah. Actually dying for you? Wow. Wow. But now by giving himself completely at the cross, actually dying for you? You want to know your purpose? Jesus died on the cross for you. Christ brought you over to God's side and put your lives together whole and holy in His presence. Look at this. Come on, come on. Read this with me right now. Those of you who can read on the screen right now, Sabjan, you don't walk away from a gift like that. Could you please tell your neighbor right now? Come on. You don't walk away from a gift like that. Hallelujah. The gift of salvation. You stay grounded. Look at this. You stay grounded. Come on, tell your neighbor, stay grounded. Steady in the bond of trust. Constantly tune in to the message. Careful not to be distracted or diverted. There is no other message, just this one. Every creature under heaven gets the same message. I, Paul, I am just a messenger of this message. John chapter 10, verse 10, Jesus said, The thief came to steal to kill and to destroy but Jesus said I have come the enemy came to steal to kill and to destroy but Jesus said I have come that you may have life and have it more abundantly everybody shout amen to that come on church can we give the Lord a big big hand of praise for that hallelujah he came to rescue to redeem to restore to set you free from every bondage. He is your deliverer. His name is Jesus Christ. Come on, church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Would you please stand with me right now, right where you are. Hallelujah. And let's just embrace this message of hope today. Hallelujah. Message of grace today. Hallelujah. This message of purpose in your life today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for this day. Hallelujah. Would you just lift your hands with me right now? Hallelujah. And would you pray with me right now? Father, thank you for Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for again, Father God, reminding us that we find our purpose in Jesus alone. He is the fullness of your purpose in our lives. Jesus, we look up to you today. Hallelujah. Our Redeemer, our Savior, and our Deliverer. Hallelujah. You deserve all the honor. You deserve all the praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Today, Father God, realign our lives, Father God. Lord, right now I pray that you release, Father God, oh God, the spirit of yieldedness and surrender, Father God, that we will find ourselves once again today, Lord God, to surrender our lives to Him who gave His life for us. Hallelujah. Surrender your life to Jesus. Hallelujah. Surrender your plans to Jesus. Hallelujah. Surrender every plan. Hallelujah. And say, God, yung gusto mo, yan ang gusto ko. Yung kalaoban mo, yun ang masunod sa buhay ko. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, today, we want to express, oh God, our surrender in worship, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord God. In worship, we will worship you today, Father God, with all of our hearts, Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, lift your hands and worship Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh 
All heads are bowed, all eyes are closed. Come on. And can you just continue just lift your hands right now? Hallelujah. Listen to me, church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of you are being set free right now. Literally, come on, just receive that right now. God, you're being set free from your fears right now. You're being set free from your anxiety, from even your panic attack. God is healing you right now. Hallelujah. Some of you here, you know, um, God is healing you from your, your, from your nervousness right now. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Because His purpose in your life is established. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Lord, healing right now is happening right now, Lord. You're setting us free, Lord, from the spirit of fear and anxiety right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I declare you are free right now. Hallelujah. You are healed in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are exalted, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yung ilan po sa atin dito, I believe this is the time where you need to recommit your life to Jesus today. Hallelujah. Ito yung panahon na, Lord, I am recommitting my life today, Lord. Renew me. Revive me, restore me, and refresh me, Lord. Come on, just, just say that to the Lord right now. Hallelujah. Magbalik loob ka lang sa Kanya. Hallelujah. Realign your life to Him. Come on, hallelujah. Submit to Him. Surrender to Him all your plans. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And you will find new strength. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. New joy. Hallelujah. Come on. Lord, release your joy right now. Release your strength right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Panginoon, lahat po ng mga may karamdaman ay pinapanalangin po namin sa mga... Sandaling ito, Father God. Right now, those who are infected right now with this virus, Father God, we release your healing power, Lord. We release your miracle working power in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name, Lord, ibangon mo sila, Panginoon, sa panig ng karamdaman in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let the miracle working power of Jesus be released right now. In Jesus' name. God is restoring your confidence. God is restoring your joy. God is restoring your strength. In Jesus' name, receive that right now. All heads are bowed, all eyes are closed. Gusto ko naman pong kunin ang pagkakataong ito na marahil yung ilan po sa inyo for the first time you've heard this message. And we want you to know that God loves you and has a great plan and purpose in your life. And it's all found in Jesus Christ, the one who said, He has come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Would you open your heart today and receive the greatest gift that God could offer you, the gift of His Son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Yun po yung sinabi sa first kanina. You don't turn away from such a gift like this. Come on, just receive that right now. And if that is in your heart right now, could you just bow your heads and, and just raise your hand to the, to the Lord right now and pray this very simple prayer with us. Pray this prayer. Sabi mo lang, Dear Lord Jesus. Come on, say it with all your heart. Say, Dear Lord Jesus. Today I come to you and I realize I failed you. I am a sinner and I need a Savior. Jesus, forgive me. Cleanse me. Change me. Set me free. I repent of all my sins. I believe in my heart. And I confess in my mouth that you came for me, you died for me, you rose again so you can give me life eternal. Today, by grace, by faith, I receive the gift of eternal life. I receive the gift of salvation. 
That's why I know that today I am forgiven, I am redeemed, I am justified, and I am free. Thank you, Jesus. From this day forward, I will love you, I will honor you, and I will follow you. In your name I pray. And everybody said amen and amen. Can we give the Lord a big, big hand of praise? Come on, church. Hallelujah. Come on, church. Hallelujah. For those of you who have prayed this prayer for the first time, you know what the Bible says? 2 Corinthians 5.17 If anyone is in Christ, he is now a new person. The old life is gone and the new life has begun. Could you please tell your neighbor right now, welcome to your new life. Come on, hallelujah. The Bible says, as many as believe Him and receive Him, to them gave He the privilege and the honor to become a child of God. You have just become a child of God today. Everybody said amen to that. Come on, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, high five somebody and say, you are a child of God. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Praise God. Oh, it is my prayer that today, once again, hallelujah, kahit ito po ay church online lamang, hallelujah, I pray that you were empowered, energized, recharged. Sino po na-recharge ang kanilang mga spiritual batteries? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. More confident, stronger than ever. Everybody said amen to that. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Ganun po katindi, you know, when we worship and are empowered by the Word of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Are you ready to be blessed, church? Are you ready to be blessed today? Hallelujah. Come on, lift your hands up high. I want to bless you with a prayer today. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord makes His face shine upon you. The Lord bless you with answered prayers. The Lord bless you with supernatural favor. The Lord bless you with supernatural provision. The Lord bless you with supernatural protection. The Lord bless your family. The Lord bless you with His peace. The Lord bless you with joy. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And everybody shout. Sunday. Give somebody a high five and say, God is good.